Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily create prison mines like this. Uh, you'll be able to customize what ores you want, what blocks, and then if it automatically refills and stuff like that. So this isn't going to be anything with commands. Um, it's actually an add-on that I made. So I'm just trying to show you real quick. If I keep mining here, I've set this mine up to automatically refill once only 90% of the blocks are left. Um, so let me show you that real quick and then I will show you the add-on itself. As you can see, the mine just refilled and then ignore that message at the top. But uh, yeah, you can set it up so the mine will automatically refill when there are a certain amount of blocks left or on a timer. And as you can see, it didn't lag and then it randomized the blocks. So let me show you the add-on. As I said, this add-on doesn't use commands or anything like that. It's actually a behavior pack. So if I go and show you real quick, as you can see, I have a behavior pack on. It's fairly small and I'll show you how to download this in just a second. The link will also be in the description, but this is something I made and how you actually use it is you have to give yourself a tag. So if you type the following command, then it'll actually prompt this UI. So as you can see, it says select a mine to edit. Uh, and this actually is the mine I created down here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this mine so I can walk you through the process of making one. And again, I just type this command to open the UI. And now that button is gone. So I'll explain the settings in just a second, but let's create a mine. So you click create a new mine and you have to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this example. Uh, you can call it whatever you'd like and then the mine coordinates. So this is gonna be from corner to corner. I'm just gonna use these coordinates here. You can actually make it uh, as big as you'd like. I think I set a limit at either 5 million or 10 mil million blocks. Uh, I'd recommend don't go too crazy um, and I'll explain why later. But if I go ahead, type in the name, the coordinates, click submit, then it created a mine. And now you can see it's right here. If I exit this menu, type this command again, my mine is right here. Now currently the mine doesn't have any blocks so let's go ahead and change that. So if I click on edit blocks as you can see there's nothing here so if I go ahead and add a block uh, scroll up I need the block ID uh, so let's say we want to do a mine of iron blocks and then we'll add in some other stuff later. Now we can change the block weight here which this is just the percentage of the mine that's going to be iron blocks so let's say we want 75% of the mine to be iron blocks. Uh, getting close. Okay, there we go, 75. And these two I will explain in a second. We can leave these as undefined for now. If we add the block, uh, let's see. Didn't like my block ID. So let me reset that, add it. I probably typed something wrong. Iron block, and then again, 75% submit and then there we go okay it worked now i'm gonna add uh let's just say diamond blocks and then we'll make this 20 percent and it has to add up to 100 um so the mine will be 75 percent iron blocks 20 percent diamond blocks and let's just do uh we'll do red wool so i can show you these permutation things I'm just going to do the last 5% down here. And then, okay, the permutations are kind of hard to explain, but if you want to, let's say, set red wool, you can't actually type red wool in here. It has to be wool, and then the permutation, the key is going to be color, and the value is going to be the actual color you want. And this applies to blocks like concrete or terracotta or stuff like that. Um, and there are some other data values you can set in here, um, but the main ones are going to be color, so that's why I'm showing you this here. And if we go ahead and add that, it added our block, and then as you can see up here, uh, it has the data value, so color red. And so that's basically it for the blocks. Um, we can remove some if we want, you know, just click on it to remove. If we reset the blocks, it will remove all of these. Um, so yeah. Now, if I click this teleport to mine button, it's going to take me right here because, again, my mine is filling this space here. 
Uh, let me open up the eye again. And then, okay. Now, if we refill the mine, as you can see, it refills it fairly quickly. Um, and it's randomized. So if I want to refill it again, I can. And you'll see the blocks are completely different. Um, but it has the percentages we input earlier. Now, a couple more things. Uh, we can edit the settings of this mine. So if we want, we can make it so the mine refills on the timer. Uh, if you want to disable it, leave that negative one. I'm gonna set it so my mine refills every five seconds. And then, okay, I've set that. If I break a block, it's not gonna refill if none of the blocks have been broken. Uh, but if I break a block, wait five seconds, then you should see it refill. There we go. And then it will continue to do that over and over as long as blocks have been broken. Now the other setting, and I'm going to clear this, set that back to negative one, is this auto refill percentage. Now this is what you saw in the beginning of the video. I had it set to 90. And what this means is when 90% of the blocks are left, it will automatically refill the mine. So I'd say this is probably better to use than the timer, but they can also, they can both be used. So if you want the mine to refill, let's say every five minutes, or when, uh, I don't know, let's say 40, 30% of the blocks are left, you can set it up just like this. Um, for the example, I had it at 90 just cause it's quick and is easier to show you than me mining half the mine. Um, but you can set these to whatever you'd like, negative one to disable it again. Um, so these are the automatic refill things. The teleport coordinates, pretty straightforward. That teleport to mine button, uh, these are the coordinates it takes you to. If I set it a little higher and enter that, if I teleport there, you'll see I am now here. But the bigger reason you'd want to change that is let's say someone is inside the mine when it refills, which I'll go ahead and be right here. Let me refill it real quick. It teleports me back here. So let's say you want to teleport a player to somewhere specific, like over here. You can, you know, set it up that way so that actually happens. I believe that is all of these settings. And then, yeah, it's not, it's not too complicated from here. If you want to delete it, obviously just click delete. But let's go back and check out the global settings. Now, there's only one setting in here right now. Um, and it's kind of like difficult to understand it at first. So let me explain. Basically, the lower this number is here, it's the mines will refill slower. Now, if your world is laggy, I would set this at a low value. So if I go ahead and refill this mine yet again, you'll see it's gonna go a lot slower than before. And the reason it's doing that is to avoid lagging your game, but let's say, your world is not laggy then you know you can set it up here and i would play around with this value see what works best for you um and yeah that's the global settings um and then in the description below there will be a link to github it kind of explains this as well if you want to look at that again um and we can go ahead and create another mine if we'd like uh you can create as many as you'd like um I wouldn't go too crazy on it, but you can do as much as you like. And I typed my coordinates wrong. So that's the other thing. You got to make sure you type it right, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. This should work. There we go. And then we have our other mine right here. We can do the same thing to it. Hopefully that gave you an idea of how powerful this can be and what all it can actually do. Now, let me show you how you can download it for yourself. So, like I said, it's just a behavior pack, and this is a file we will be downloading. Again, it's fairly small. The link for this will be in the description below, and it is also on GitHub. So, if I go to GitHub right here, then you'll be able to see this download link in the description. Now, this is open source, so if you'd like to look at the code yourself, you can go ahead and do that. It's all in here. It's not too complicated. Um, but yeah, this goes over basically what I just told you. It'll walk you through how to create a basic mine. And if we go to the downloads, it'll bring up Mediafire. And then we can download it right here. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. But once you've downloaded it, just double click it or install it however you like. And then it will appear in game. So if I back out and then create a new world, there is one important thing you have to do. 
So when you go to make a new world, or if you're using one you already have, uh, you have to go to experiments down here. Might be in a different section, but this beta APIs feature, you have to enable it because the pack makes use of one of the beta APIs. So turn it on and then do whatever you'd like. You can buy the pack. Uh, I believe it's gonna be at the bottom for me. Yep, so just activate this. Go ahead and create your world and then it will be applied and you'll be able to do everything I just showed you. So keep in mind to access the UI. Remember, you just have to give yourself that tag. And if you need any additional uh, explanation it will be on github right over here this will also be linked in the description down below that pretty much covers it there's not too much more to go over uh, everything will be linked down below in the description if you want to use this do you know whatever you like with it uh, use it for your world your realms for you and your friends whatever you'd like um, if you enjoy my content or want to help support me, all you have to do is leave a like and if you feel like it, subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So, I hope you guys make use of this add-on and that's it for this video. Have a good one.